What's up you guys? My name is Diane and I wanted to introduce myself to the world of YouTube in a different way. I actually wanted to do a very nice just separate video of introducing myself with a full face of glam and then I felt very awkward to be honest. So I thought I would stay true to myself in just this way. What we're going to be doing is a good old haul. I have had several purchases from Sephora that I've been waiting to open um, just because I said, well, my second video will be a haul and it just didn't feel authentic to sit down and, you know, do this intro or this very um, elaborate story about myself. So I rather just open up this box show you guys what i've picked up recently um dang it. anyways hopefully the battery doesn't run out so i have quite a bit of stuff while i chitter chatter about uh my so okay, how many things are in here i have uh three things in here i'm just gonna take it out and put it in um so this was an order i placed online and the one was a same day delivery order um but we'll just go through it all together. Let me parse through what I have here. So I picked up the new matte uh, formulation from Charlotte Tilbury, the liquid blushes. And I picked up the peach pop and dream pop shade. I love a good orange, especially now for summertime and um, spring and summer. I love orange and then I picked up this berry shade because I feel like I watched sir, um, certain reviews that just didn't seem like the lighter one, the pink pop would show up on my skin tone. I spring and summer because um, I have two children, I have a pool and I know that um, mama is going to be tan. Uh, I picked up the very hyped right now Makeup Forever new formulation. I have the old one. It works so I'm excited to see what really, um, if anything, the difference is with this one. And I picked it up, again, in a way lighter shade than my last one. But I realized their numberings are completely different um, between this one and the older formulation. So I picked up this one in 2Y20. Oh, I'm really excited about this. So the Danessa Marierics. Did I say her name? It's Yummy Skin uh, Blur Balm Flush Blushes and Golden Hour and Jubilee. Um, Golden Hour matches beautifully with my nails. That just might be it. Uh, oh, I picked up a mini of this Hourglass uh, Concealer because I have the full size, but it is a little dark. So I went um, for a much lighter color just so that i can use both because i love this concealer and i don't use it enough because of the shade problem if it wasn't for the shade i would 1000 percent use that one more then another concealer that i picked up because i've been seeing it all around the internet and i wanted to try it for myself was this urban decay stay naked quickie up to 24 hour wear multi-use concealer I've heard really good things about it, but my skin is a little weird when it comes to concealer. The perfect concealer for me that I can wear on the daily would probably be the Dior Backstage one. I still haven't gotten over that one. Wrinkles just keep coming. I also picked up the Tower 28 Sculptino Soft. Um, anyways, I picked up the shade Hammer, which looks very dark. I overestimate how tan i really am but this is fairly dark and i if i'm not mistaken it only had three or four shades in the range um it does seem a little bit more cool tone so i'm excited to try that we, th by the way this is all from the new section in sephora and this is the melt makeup um perfectionist brow and i have i got two shades i got two shades for the purpose of gifting one to my mother because as soon as she sees this She's gonna ask me for it. I mean, I don't see how it's brand new. Okay, so I got it in the shade dark brown, which will probably be best for me, even though that woman loves a dark brown. All right, so that's very dark and it's very dry. 
Hmm. Okay. This will probably be best for her. My mom it has very blonde hair. Yeah, this will likely work for her. So you see right there is brown and here we have dark brown. So I like the is cool tone. Uh, brown is not warm. I like that. That's brownie points right there. The mix mist and fix the 24 hour hydrating setting mist. Um, I'm really excited to try this. I I don't remember if I've ever tried this before. Like maybe it's reformulated, but um, I don't think I've tried it yet. And then from Melt, well, I want him on Melt and the brow products. I got the Ultra Fine Brow Pen. I love brow pens. Let me explain why. I have really thick brows, so sometimes the pencil can be a little aggressive. I like pens because I can do hair like strokes. And I, and I can really just feather it in instead of painting it on. Um, this, ooh, I am excited for this. This is the Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. Surf proof? Does this mean it's against water? Because mama lives in Florida, okay? We are the capital of humidity. So this claims, this claims to... What does it claim to do? So it claims to be long wearing, sprayable skincare. So it has tiny droplets um, for maximum observation, absorption, ma'am, of skin recovering seawater minerals, niacinamide, we love niacinamide up in here, and transdermal magnesium. I don't even know what the heck that means, but it sounds fabulous. It's my skin after children. Let me tell you. I was a greasy mess, but after kids, mama dry, mama is dry. And then um, that misty magic, so it activates for a soft focus effect. This is, I love their primer. Cali Ray came out with a very nice primer. I'm just gonna spray this on my face now. One eternity later. Because we are professionals. I stayed without battery. When I started the haul and I started my intro video to this new world of mine. However, am I crooked? To you three days after I filmed the original Sephora haul while also introducing myself. And so welcome back. I'm sorry. Listen. We're getting to know each other, right? I mean, it's fair. So, cheers to finishing my cafecito. And now, we're really gonna get into trying out this stuff. I actually wanna try out the Melt Perfectionist Brow Pen and see how I like it. The color is in Universal Brown. Is that shall we? So, I love brow pens because, again, my um, brows are fairly thick and so pencil or filling them in sometimes with powder can just be too much. It really just could be too much. Doing that and I'm noticing that I can have a very light hand and the color is quite nice because it's not as dark i mean you can see an obvious difference from this brow to this brow to fill in a lot i just have some sparse areas um that i like to fill in that looks pretty damn good all right i'm gonna do the other one and i'm gonna come right back so i'm gonna go in with the concealer which is the urban decay uh stay naked quickie concealer and I picked up mine in the shade 40 CP. So, all right, I'm gonna put it right where I would put my concealer normally.
finish that. But you see, on my eyes, it almost wants to peel. If you notice right there, it almost wants to peel off. And that's just so weird. Move this out with my finger. Yeah, it's just, it's collecting. So odd. So odd. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wipe off the under eye. Okay, we're gonna let it dry. Reapply it and then I'll come back and see if we still have Okay, so I went ahead and I wiped off the makeup that I had under my eyes. Um, this is the last time I'm going to try this. If it doesn't work for me or my skin just kind of doesn't agree with this formula, I'm just going to go ahead and return it um, because I don't want to keep something that's just really not going to work. Cause Here's my thing with this concealer. It's a really nice finish, actually. I like it more today than I did yesterday, that's for sure. Um, let me bring you guys close. So, now we don't see the separation, which is what I was hoping would not obviously happen. I mean, why would I want it to separate? Um, the finish is really nice, and I think that the color is really good. I'm concerned that the moment I get two ounces of sun, this shade I won't be able to use till next winter. YouTubers and such. And what I notice is that the, don't get scared by the color. I was scared by the color the moment I got it. Um, this is in Hammer, but I have seen other people use this and it does not translate this dark, okay? Which is why I didn't return it. So I'm gonna take my Mario dual brush and I'm going to pick up, so this is a technique of underpainting, okay? This is underpainting. You're putting all your creams underneath and then you're gonna put your foundation on top. This is a beautiful color. <gasps> show you guys the Charlotte Tilbury matte ones and I haven't tried them they're still very much sealed now the hard part is going to be which one I think I'm going to do dream pop it very very pretty very pretty almost watermelony color okay so you just squeeze you unlock squeeze and then I always like locking it because you know naturally you you tend to want to squeeze and I'm not trying to make a mess. Okay, so I'm gonna place my um, blush a little higher today. Okay. So good, so good. But the original one was good. Really, I don't know what is different. I think they reformulated it. And one thing with Makeup Forever is, let me tell you something. Huh. They're not with the business of, we broke up, but we're gonna leave you here. No, they cut tides, sweetheart, okay? They cut tides. So it, you know that if they say reformulated or they brought in another one, the, the that one, if you liked that one for any reason more, <laughs> it's not coming back go right in with the sponge of the foundation i'm going to swipe twice and then i'm going to pat it on and at first i'm just going to go around 
that bronzer and blush and then I'm gonna go over top. All right, look at this. This is this, this half. And look at this half. Oh my goodness. I mean, run, don't walk, run, because this will be sold out 100%. This is totally worth it. All right, I'm gonna do a quick eye look and then come back and show you guys the finished look. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit. I want to again apologize for the fact that I took so long. There were several days in between, but just know that that will probably happen um, from time to time. Um, end of, of a review here. The, the concealer has actually settled really nicely with that powder on top. You already know I am obsessed with the powder foundation. It's something that is super quick out the door. You can do it in your car if you don't have time to get ready in the morning. So that's the wonderful thing about powder foundations as is. As far as the underneath uh, bronzer and blush, I think that they stood their own. I have no powder, blush, or bronzer on top of the powder foundation. So anything I laid underneath that underpainting is really showing through and true to color, especially that blush. That blush gave such a beautiful flush of almost a watermelony color that is absolutely gorgeous. And for Charlotte Tilbury, I'm telling you right now, that's pricey, but it's pigmented because a lot of products from Charlotte Tilbury sometimes kind of fade out because it's so luxurious. It's so like bougie. That it kind of fades to nothing which is why right now anything on the market is wiping out their contour um their contour wand because the pigment just is not there once um once you blend it out as far as the sculptino from tower 28 i love tower 28 products i love their cream blush um the cream blushes that they also have as if for the quality of product that you're getting um, comparable to a lot of the things that they do sell in Sephora it's a lot more affordable um, also I would look out to see if you can maybe get these products in Ulta not because of anything but Ulta just has a better point system so for each point that you receive from an order you get money back okay in Sephora the point system is like for little samples or you know deluxe samples like these that come in these little bags like this is really and essentially what your points are gonna get you um this is the hydrating setting spray so we're gonna go ahead mm. so i'm gonna be honest just off the bat i like that it's hydrating but the mister on this is a lot heavier i prefer this over this also, this states to be hydrating and long wear. I wore it in the sun for hours in that South Beach uh, Food and Wine Festival yesterday, and I had no problem of sweating, of, you know, fading. Um, my skin looked, looked really, really good by the end of the night, and so i'll i'll look out for this and maybe let you guys know in like a future video like an update on the haul video um but first impressions i do find that this mister is not as fine as this one and i did already see longevity with this one again i want to say that i hope you stick around i hope that you subscribe i promise to get better at uploading content on here i really want to see where this journey on youtube will take me all right guys bye Mwah. Um, I promise to get better at oh, guess eso. I'm talking to yourself. It's not easy. There's nobody here to talk to. Somebody passes. 
el día que pasen adelante de esta ventana and somebody just stays staring at me, you're my one, buddy. You're my one. I need another coffee.